Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an end of day report for June the 8th, 2016, Wednesday. Looking at the US dollar index, it's been a slow grind lower, as you can see here. Market is still supported at 92.49, and I suspect that that is going to be exactly where we're going to go. And I'm expecting that we could at least touch that or even breach it by, fr by the close of Friday. This market still remains in a downtrend. Even though it is pulse wave positive, the momentum has steadily been going lower. We're oversold, as you can see here. Not locked in on the downside yet, but the momentum is still off. Volume starting to pick up a little bit, and um, it still in, uh, remains under pressure, big time. And we are trading below the Kumo cloud. Um, it's interesting to see that the Fed is allowing this market to head lower when it's been defending it for the past several weeks. As you can see back up in here, it would not let it die. Every week it just went higher. Now it's grinding lower. And this is going on week number two. Uh, the euro also strengthened getting up to the 114 handle. It's going to be very interesting to see how long they allow this to continue without intervening. Okay, taking a look now at the Euro futures chart. As you can see, this market is gathering momentum, starting to enter into an overbought situation. Overhead resistance is at 115.89. This market still has at least a point and a half in it before it hits that resistance point. I suspect it will try to break out of this Kumo cloud. Right now, this market is the opposite of the dollar and index. It's pulse wave negative, all right? But it's not materializing. It went down for four weeks straight. Now it's retracing all of that. Very interesting setups. Very low volume. You know, look at your volume. Look at your volume. And momentum should continue upward. And I think it's going to try to lock in like the dollar is going to end up locking in on the downside. Without uh, currency manipulation and intervention, if you allow markets to take their natural course, this is the natural course for this, shooting back up to the 117 area. All right, so we'll see what materializes. Okay, with that said, as you can see, the, the oil is powering up just as in anticipated. Market remains well supported at 41 uh, 54 and the upward trajectory is still in play market is in the overbought category but it is trying to lock in a trend here all right we keep we keep staying up here this is one two three now we're building a fourth that's going to give this a lot of power to break into the 60 it's probably going to go beyond the 60 and even extend into 70 before pulling back volume is always it's also picking up look at your volume look at your volume it's picking up uh, so this market is not done with um, with this up surge, and the market remains well supported at 41.54. So it can tolerate a pullback all the way down to the trend line, and it could just bounce right and take back off again. So I would uh, be on the lookout for this uh, for this oil. Um, moving right along. As the U.S. dollar weakens and oil strengthens, look at the S&P 500. It's breaking out. It's trying to put in a new high. It wants to take that out. We need to close above 21.19 and three quarters in order to uh, say that is so. Market remains well supported at 20.53 and three quarters, and it can actually toler tolerate a pullback to this blue trend line here at 20.82 and three quarters and still take off like a rocket from there lot of momentum built in here we are locked in in this built this uptrend we are locked in and as you can see volume is, is starting to pick up a bit um, this market is well supported and looks like um, this is going to keep uh, tracking much much higher Looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is not as powerful as the S&P 500. 
is nowhere near its highs of 47.93 and a half. We're at 45.20. All right. Weak volume. Momentum still locked in some kind of way though. This bull trend is locked in too. But it needs to get above 46. It needs to close above 46. It really does in order to say this is real. So this market really hasn't taken off like the S&P has. It took out its prior support. So that puts it back here at 45.84 and a half. That's technically all it needs is a close above 45.84 and a half to lock this bull trend in with some strength and some momentum. Um, and right now it just doesn't have it. It's quiet. It's, it's just chilling but grinding higher. Very interesting market to say the least. Taking a look now at the Dow. The Dow is it's trying to get back into the 18,000 handle. It needs to close this week above 18,083 in order to build up enough momentum to lock in its upsurge. Needs to take out the 18,334. I think that's where it's going to head. If it can take it out, then it can. It will lift the S&P 500 with it. The question is the 17,502. Are we well supported there? It's looking like we are, but not the way. The chart is formatted here. I can't really say that that is the case like the S&P. It's moved further away from its support. This one is still kind of too close for comfort to its blue trend line support. So we could double top here. Here's the top. We could we could double top and roll over from here too. So this is yet to be seen. It, it's it's a still a lot of things up in the air right now, of a lot of uncertainty. You know, markets don't like uncertainty. Take a look now at the Russell. The Russell is trying to keep pace with the other indexes, and it's brand new pulse wave positive, brand new. Uh, this is only the second week into this breakout, and this market though is well supported at 1087. So this is looking more like the S&P chart wise it looks pretty strong and it's finally broken out of the Kumo cloud. That's pretty strong. But these trend lines really need to come above the, the Kumo cloud with it. Can it build enough momentum? It's extended here though. This one's extended. So hard to tell if it's going to have enough to continue and have enough force to pull the rest of these up with it. It needs to take out the 1292.30. That's what it's going to try to do, but it can't even look that way. It's more than 100 points away from that. It still needs a close above this um, this topside resistance of 1201. It, it needs to get above 1201.30. It really needs a close like that. If it can get a 1201.30 close, that will be great going in the next week, and that could help lift this higher. So let's see what happens. All right, picking up where we uh, left off here on the uh, Nikkei, um, we are well supported at 15,563, or we should say 565. And you can see it's pulse wave positive, but it's still uh, weak and moving sideways underneath this trend line resistance at 17, uh, let's say 17,500. And that's where we are in the Nikkei. Still a little bit of oomph a little upward momentum here but overall it's still flat and a long way from that high of 29.90 way up there so downtrend is still here overall markets don't know what they want to do they're not really breaking down but they're really not rallying the new highs either as far as this Nikkei is concerned and this Nikkei is very important because it's kind of leading the other indices per se so this could just be uh, precursor of where we're headed in the Dow and everything else remains unseen but we'll have to find out okay now looking at gold gold has upward resistance of 1298.70 uh, it's trying to do a little something here upward trajectory upward channel building momentum is trying to pop up a little bit and we are pulse wave negative unfortunately still even though we're not going into new lows Looking at silver, silver is exactly the same way. 
it has upward resistance at 1790 though and it's right here on the trend line supports of 1611 and uh, 1581 exactly so this is a post wave negative as well and I suspect that even though we have an upward thrust it's going to give out and we're going to go back down again we're just retracing from the four week cycle down so anyway remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so take what you can and give nothing back